Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's Marla, and again, I don't know if you can tell, I'm trying to experiment with my crazy lighting. So if I look a little shiny or too bright, that's why. This is going to be a review that somebody requested. Now let me preface this review by saying, I don't consider my skincare regime routine to be above everyone else's. I don't consider the products that I use to be better than anybody else's products, but these are products that I've been using really for over a year every day. A lot of times I'll try some new products and I always try to, try to see if I can get product sample size because I know it's going to take a lot for me to switch from the skincare products that I'm currently using. So if I have the choice, I will try to get sample size or very large sample size of anything new to try first to see if I like it. But honestly, I have not really strayed from this particular skincare routine for over a year. Let me also say that I started out with adult onset acne, not cystic acne, nothing like that, but I did have a lot of bumps on my neck and I would get uh, periodic breakouts on my face. I was actually being seen by a dermatologist and getting prescription anti-acne medications for my face. I no longer do any of that anymore. I no longer go to the dermatologist anymore. Again, I am not saying that this routine will definitely clear up everyone's skin. It's just for me, it's really been a great, great skincare routine and the products I think that I am using right now are really pretty top notch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this video and show you kind of, I think since I already have a face full of makeup, I'm gonna start with my nighttime routine and just show you how I take my makeup off, how I wash my face, what creams I put in my face, and then we will pretend it's morning and then I will show you my morning routine. Uh, if I've done a video on one of the products that I am showing you, I will post it probably up here. That way, if you watch this entire video and there's a particular product you're interested in, you can kind of go back and just click on this little spot where I've done an individual review of that particular product. Hope this is helpful. And again, I always think it's kind of interesting to see what people use, what people love to use on their face, what's helped them. I will also tell everyone, if you've never seen one of my videos before, I'm 53 years old. I always kind of like to say that because sometimes the products I use may not be geared specifically towards younger people because I have other issues to deal with. I have lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, all the stuff that comes with old age. So let's get started. This is my nighttime routine. I am one of those people since I don't have a regular job anymore. I retired a little while ago and I'm still kind of dealing with my teenage son who's last one still in the house. I'm trying to get out of the house. He has probably a year and a half more to go of school in high school and then he'll be in college. But I am one of these people that kind of takes a shower at night and then I just wake up in the morning, do all my errands and stuff and then Unless I'm going somewhere in the daytime, then I take a shower in the morning. So it just kind of, that's just kind of the way I do it. You can obviously take a bath or shower whenever you like, but this is how I do it. So at nighttime, I go in the shower and obviously I don't have to use a band on my hair in the shower, but because I'm in my study right now, I am going to put this band up over my hair so I don't get all this stuff in my hair like that and I look very silly with a band in my hair. Before I go in the shower, I like to kind of remove my mascara, any eyeliner, any eye makeup I have on and my lipstick with my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I've tried a lot of makeup remover wipes and these are the ones I really, really like. I know it's not super economical to have cleansing towelettes, but for some reason, I keep going back to these. I just like these. So I normally just kind of get all my eye makeup off before I go in. I use Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is very difficult to get off. So that's why I kind of have used makeup wipes first and then go in and clean my face. So let me get my lipstick off, kind of just go over my face with this a little bit to prep myself for doing a really good cleansing of my skin. 
I've taken a majority of my makeup off with the cleansing wipe and then once I go in the shower periodically during the week I will do a facial scrub. I have tried a lot of scrubs, a lot of scrubs, and I keep coming back to this one and it's the Burt's Bees Citrus Facial Scrub. I love this stuff and I'll tell you why. I am, as I've said before in my previous videos, on a mission to have as many products, hair products, skin products that are paraben free, phthalate free, petrochemical free, just, just trying to get rid of all that stuff. And I've tried a lot of facial scrubs, both that are made without parabens, with parabens, and the reason I keep coming back to this Burt's Bees one is I can use this and I only use this in the shower because it's so messy. It gets in all my hair and it just gets in my eyes and my mouth and everything. But I like it because if it even gets near my eyes, it never burns. Because it's kind of a, almost looks like a sugar scrub, it really does a really good job of kind of just getting all the dry skin off my face without drying out my face. Again, I've tried a lot of facial scrubs and I keep coming back to Burt's Bees. So this is the scrub I use during the week, probably three or four times a week. It's so gentle, it never bothers my skin. Then I actually cleanse my face really well. I know I kind of maybe do that backwards, but I scrub first and then clean my face. I don't know why, I just do. And the two cleansers that I use kind of interchangeably are both from Bosha. One is the Bosha Cleansing Gel, and I will post the review I did for that up here. Right there. This one, I'm not going to go into detail about each one of these things because the reviews have the in-depth kind of description of these. But I go again back and forth between this one and the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser, which I will post the review of that up in the right hand corner also. I don't know where it is. Probably over there. Love both of these. This one, the uh, cleansing gel has a little bit more lathery froth to it. The black cleanser, the detoxifying black cleanser is just a pure gel. It goes on, it's, it has a little bit of a warming action. For some reason, I don't know, I still prefer the black cleansing gel. I don't know if it's because the first one I've ever used or what, but I just like it. In the shower, sometimes I use my Clarisonic, sometimes I don't use my Clarisonic because I have all that shower water coming on my face that this Bosha gels and the Bosha cleansers do a really good job of cleaning. I always use my, my Clarisonic in the morning, however. I will also post a video review of this Clarisonic versus the Mia. I have both. I take the Mia with me traveling, the little, little travel size one, and I will post that review up here. I love Clarisonics. This is kind of one of the original Clarisonics before they actually even had these things in different colors. They were all white when I got mine. And I've tried a lot of, you know, drugstore kind of brushes. They're not the Clarisonic. This thing has never given me trouble. I must have had this for five or six years. I don't know. When did Clarisonic come out? That's when I got this. It's been going forever. I like it because you can get all different kinds of brush heads. I have the Deep Pore Cleanser brush head. The brush heads are nice and compact. And I just, I just think this has really buffed my face, buffed any of the wrinkles and lines around my face, helped make my pores look smaller, even though you, it's kind of really hard to really shrink pores but it does give the appearance of kind of a nice buff of your face. I really cannot live with my, uh, my Clarisonics. Use Burt's Bees on my face, do the facial scrub, wash my face with the Bosha cleanser, and then before I go to bed at night, I put on my skincare products. I use back and forth, I just kind of am torn between which products I like best. Some days I will use my Tarte Mar pure maracuja oil. I will post the review of that up in the corner. This stuff, another thing I could not live without. And I just want to let you know, I've th the purchasing of all this stuff has come over probably a two year period. So, I mean, this stuff is not something I just all went out one day and, and bought. The other product I interchange with the Tarte maracuja oil is the Bosha, and I think it's pronounced Zubaki. Beauty oil? I'm not sure. I did a review on this also. This is also a really great serum oil to put on your skin at night. Put several drops of that all over my face and my neck. And because I am excessive, at nighttime I will use 
one of two moisturizers actually on top of the Bosha, Bosha Beauty Oil or the Tarte Beauty Oil. In the winter time when it's super, super dry and cold outside, I will use Origins Utopia Lift and I will put a review on that. This is kind of a heavier cream and that's why I really prefer this more in the winter time when I really do have a little bit more difficulty with dryness on my skin. My skin is combo skin, so I don't really have crazy dry skin. Now that it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside, I kind of like a lighter weight feel on my face when I go to bed at night. And now on top of the oils, I am using Fresh Rose Hydrating Gel Cream. I will be posting a review of this probably within the next two or three weeks. But I love this also on top of the gels. And that is my nighttime cleansing and moisturizing routine. Now, in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, obviously my face is pretty clean because I've done all this stuff in the night before. So let me show you what I do in the mornings. I'm back without my headband, and I'm going to show you quickly my morning routine. I really only use three products on my face in the morning. I use my Clarisonic first thing in the morning with, and I've tried a lot of facial cleansers. I am one of these people that like lather. That's just the way it is. Especially first thing in the morning, I just have to have a lather on my face. Tried a lot of products. This is paraben free, phthalate free, petrochemical free. I love this company. It's the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Faith, Faith, Frothy Faith Loth. Frothy Faith Loth. It's the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Say that fast five times. Love this, smells great, smells minty, it almost smells like a little bit like toothpaste, and gives me a gigantic lather. This is so compact and dense. This has lasted me forever. Love, love, love this. And it's perfect for my Clarisonic because I can actually stick this stuff. It's so thick. I'll put a review on this, but it's so thick that I can just plop it right in the Clarisonic and I can almost shake it and it, it won't come off. Perfect for a Clarisonic. Then once my face is all clean with that, I hydrate my face before I put on any makeup and I use the Bosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. I really, really like this. I've been using this for, I don't know how long. Whenever I posted the review on this is how long I've been using this. I love it under my makeup because I have combo skin and I can't stand putting on any type of moisturizer that makes my skin feel oilier and greasier once I put on my, you know, tinted beauty balm or my foundation. It just kind of grosses me out. This doesn't do that. It goes on a little sticky, then dries. Love this. And then for my primer, I use, I'm going to throw this in even though this is not really a skincare product. I have been using the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. I love this. Doesn't come in a lot of skin colors, so if you're lucky enough to have this match your skin, it's great. It's especially perfect for people like me that, has, that have combo skin or a little oilier skin. It is a little drying. If you have dry skin, if you moisturize really well, you should not have a problem with this. But right before I put this on, I put on my Kat Von D Rehab Priming Elixir. Another thing I cannot kind of live without. I really love this priming elixir. It, it's a different type of primer. It's not that typical slimy silicone feeling primer that you put on. It doesn't minimize pores. It just gives me a nice smooth canvas to apply my Tarte BB Tinted Treatment. That is my routine, morning and nighttime. I've been using that, most of these products for over a year, some of them only a couple months because they're brand new. Have had really great results with my skin. My neck is super, super smooth, no more bumps. And very rarely, I mean, I don't think I've had zits in, I can't even tell you when, a long, long time. Thank you for watching my videos, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. It's not the end-all be-all skincare routine. It's just my skincare routine. Have a good, great day. Bye-bye.